I want to find some ways to incorporate my leftovers into a brand new dish that the family's not going to realize that they're really having leftovers. And you know, I make chicken pot pies, I make seafood pot pies. Well, why not a turkey pot pie? So that's what I'm going to do with this leftover turkey. Now, I'm going to begin with a store-bought puff pastry. This is one sheet of frozen puff pastry that's been thawed. And I've dusted it with a little flour so that I can work with it and it not stick to my hands. And I'm going to start by cutting strips of our puff pastry with a fluted wheel. Now, if you don't have a wheel, you can use just a regular plain knife and it'll just give you a straight edge. But this is what your puff pastry is going to start out looking like and this is what it's going to look like after we cut it. I've got some cut and ready to lattice over here. I've already started the lattice work. Now I've gotten two pieces down. Now I'm going to raise the two pieces of pastry that are underneath the last strip of pastry that went down. I'm going to lay them back and then nestle that other strip right there. And then now the opposite strips are on the bottom and I'm just going to lift those up and lay the last strip right there. And you can see we've got a pretty lattice topping. Now if you feel like this is too big for the container that you're going to put it in, all you have to do is trim your edges to fit your pan. It's just that simple. You can make it work with just, just a spin of the wheel. All right, now we're going to put this in the oven and we're going to bake it until it's a light brown and it's puffed up. Now, you don't want to overcook this or over brown it because after we get the, the center of our pot pie done, we're going to put this on top of that and it's going back in the oven. So you'll want to make sure that you don't get it too dark that first go around. Now I've got an egg and a little milk, and I'm just going to give it a brush. And this is going to make our puff pastry uh, real shiny and, and, and brown. It's going to be just beautiful. And we cook our crust the same way at the restaurants, but we have air-driven convection ovens. That air from those convection ovens kind of blows these edges up every which way, so they'll come out all funky and pretty. Well, this one's more than likely, because I'm cooking this in a regular oven, just going to kind of lay down. So let's get this in the oven. Okay, now for the filling for our pot pie. I'm going to start with a onion, one whole diced onion, I'm going to use two cups of butternut squash that's been cooked and diced, ooh those onions are smelling delicious, alright now to this pot I'm going to add two cans of cream of celery soup. two cans of cream of cheddar soup. You could change this to cream of chicken or cream of mushroom. All right, I'm just mixing that up and I'm going to add one cup of whole milk. And then I'm going to fold in that surprise ingredient. We can't have turkey without cranberries, can we? So I'm going to fold in one can of whole jellied cranberry sauce. And you can see the whole berries. So we're just going to have everything in this one pot. Now we're going to throw in our leftover turkey. And I'm using white and dark meat. And we're just going to let this simmer. Okay, now for the filling for our pot pie. And you can see it's nice and hot and bubbly. And when we put it in the oven, that's the way we want it. We want it really bubbling. So we're safe to go ahead and 
ladle this up into our casserole dish. Now you'll want to make sure that when you fill your dish up, that you fill it up high enough for the bottom of your puff pastry to touch it. Otherwise, you know, you could sling off the crust because it's got nothing to stick to. It just kind of run around on top of the dish and you don't want that. I don't want to overfill it because when I put it in the oven, I don't want it baking over. Okay, so let's check on our puff pastry now and see if it's done. And then we're ready to put this in the oven. Oh, and look how pretty that turned out. Gonna need to get a spatula. How's this for a spatula? <laughs> that should do the trick, shouldn't it? All right, now I'm just gonna lay this crust right on top of our filling. And you see how I'm pressing that down for that crust to kind of sit down in that hot juice. All right, so in the oven, this is gonna go. I think our pot pie is probably ready to come out of the oven. So let's see if that's, oh yeah, that's ready. Look how good that looks. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm.